Here we have negative 2 and negative 1. Remember, you don't want to view this as a um, minus sign. You don't want to think of this as negative 2 minus 1. It's a lot easier to think of it as negative 2 and negative 1. And if it helps, write in that understood plus sign or even rewrite the problem. You don't have to do that, but if it helps, then go for it. All right, here we have negative 2 and negative 1. We're going to draw a picture. Negative 2 is 2 negatives. Negative 1 is 1 negative. We have 2 negatives and 1 more negative. So altogether we have 1, 2, 3 negatives. So that's the answer, negative 3.